Oh my god. Stop. That cannot be real. No way. Hey, bitch, and welcome back to me talking about people I hate. You guys, I made a mistake. I totally effed up in my last video because I said this. I mean, I think if you're carriage driving for yourself personally, that's fine. It's whatever. Amish people don't care. Embarrassing. I know. In my defense, I had no idea how abusive the Amish community actually was. Okay, bitch, I thought that they were just these peaceful people that lived on a prairie and had their little farm life, but <gasps> no. I went down this crazy rabbit hole yesterday after posting my video when I started seeing a bunch of people commenting saying, bitch. Why are you okay with the Amish? You're against all types of abuse and they're some of the worst out there. Honest to God, I had no idea. Obviously, disclaimer before we get into this video, this is not about every single Amish person or family. I totally understand that some of them are probably fine and don't abuse animals, but it seems like the vast majority, if not more than 50% of the Amish community, definitely has a lot of skeletons in the closet. And I love it when people use culture and religion and ways of life as an excuse to abuse animals or even people because that's not cool. It's not okay. I was astounded when I found out that the majority of draft horses and carriage driving horses that are sent to slaughter or auctions or even a lot of the ones that are sold on Craigslist are actually ex- Amish horses that were used to plow fields or pull carriages. Amish people tend to view horses as just machinery, and once the horses get too old to perform the tasks that they need the horses to perform, they end up selling the horses to slaughter. And there's actually direct pipelines between Amish communities and slaughter over borders in Canada and Mexico. To me, that's really concerning, especially because the majority of the retired Amish horses, more like used goods horses that end up at these auctions are super skinny and malnourished. Most of them have actually literally nearly been worked to death. And this has been reported on by multiple agencies, multiple animal welfare organizations. These horses literally show up to these auctions and they look like trash. A lot of Amish people will work horses nearly until they die on the side of the road. A woman driving on Bethany Road in Ephrata sent us this picture from Lancaster County. She says an Amish man was beating a horse. The passerby, who didn't want to show her face on camera, says she saw the man hitting the animal with what looked like a whip. When she came back later, she says the situation had taken a turn for the worse. A witness called 911 and Ephrata police arrived. There was a report of people striking the horse while it was standing and also striking the horse while it was on the ground. There is also the potential that the horse may have been overloaded uh, with a wagon that was too big and too heavy. People say the horse couldn't seem to stay up. Um, kept falling over. Um, he wasn't in good shape at that point. Police say they got the horse out of the road. Police say after they left, the horse was euthanized. Emotional thing, um, as well as a potential criminal act. I mean, imagine driving down the road and seeing an Amish person beating their horse for just being so exhausted that it's dying. Suspect's name is Marvin Sensing. He was 20 years old and he was arrested and charged with two counts of cruelty to animals. Amish people should go about rehoming their older horses in a more responsible way and they shouldn't just work these horses until they die. I get it that it's a way of life for you and that you guys use horses 
as part of your way of life, but horses are still living, breathing animals that deserve a life of their own as well outside of you and your community. And you should take steps if you really do care, which a lot of Amish people say that they really do care about their horses, then if you really care about them when the horse is no longer useful to you, why don't you guys responsibly rehome them instead of sending them to auctions or slaughterhouses? That doesn't make sense to me. People who truly care about their animals don't treat their animals like that. So honestly, there is zero excuse for Amish people sending horses that have lived day in and day out serving them and serving them well to slaughterhouses when they no longer have value to them. So I guess the point is don't support Amish people owning horses I get it that it's a way of life for you guys, but until the majority of you can actually learn how to take care of horses properly and rehome them, more importantly, properly, I just don't think they're responsible enough to have horses. Because if this is a consistent and a constant for more than 50% of Amish households is using horses until they literally nearly collapse on roads or they starve to death or they neglect them so bad or when they're finished with them, they send them to auctions and kill buyers, then yeah, I think that regulations need to be put in place because this is insane. Why is nobody regulating this? Why is nobody making sure that Amish horses have a safe retirement when they're at the end of their life? Moreover, I wanted to talk about one of the most terrifying things alongside the horse abuse that takes place with Amish communities. Holy hell, I had no idea that Amish people ran so many puppy mills, but did I go down a rabbit hole? Absolutely, I did. It doesn't take much research to find out that nearly 20% of the U.S. puppy mills are located in Amish farms. Many Amish puppy mills are high volume USDA licensed commercial dog breeders that sell and ship puppies online. The Amish are shrewd business people with one puppy mill are able to make up to half a million dollars a year. Amish people seem to be that little community that nobody really ever cares about, but has so many dark hidden secrets. <laughs> Once you peel back the first layer and then there's 500 more. Oh my God. Stop. That cannot be real. No way. The Amish debark their dogs. This is on ABC News. Some Amish debark their dogs. They pull the heads back and then they hammer sharp instruments down their throats to scar their vocal cords so they can't bark. <gasps> oh my god. Stop. That is absolutely foul. Yeah, you know what? Actually, the longer that this video goes on, the more I just think that people who seemingly live in what looks like a cult and abuse animals regularly, but they call it a way of life. That's not cool. And I just think that there needs to be regulations put in place to make sure that not just the people, but the animals are being treated well. Let's just keep a close eye on Amish. If there's any more Amish stories that come out, be sure to send them to me, you guys. Maybe one day I'll make a really in-depth video. This video is just kind of an initial video of me finding out about some of the horrific things that go on there. If you're Amish and you want to share your story, comment below. Otherwise, everyone else, comment your thoughts down below. Let me know how you feel about the Amish community. Alrighty guys, I love you so much. Thank you for joining me for this interesting discovery video, I guess. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.